Well, whatever time of day or night it is with you, welcome along to a game which is threatened, I have to tell you, by a rather forbidding weather forecast. The expectation is for quite heavy rain as the game grows older this evening. It hasn't arrived just yet, but it will do shortly. Glad to report, though, that that hasn't affected the crowd, who are here in good number and indeed in good voice. And the game will be underway very soon. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. And so we stand for the anthems. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Aidan Dzeko. He's a real handful up front, Peter, and not just because of his height and that physical presence. He's got excellent awareness and, and technique, and that allows him to bring others into the game. He's a very powerful finisher, too, so he'll be giving defenders a real dilemma about whether to close him down or not. I would advise the former. He's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. There's the whistle. Forward it goes. Kenich with the foul. Checo over to the left. Pjanic is on to it and can take it up. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to uh, to hold on for the support. This game is in need of some excitement, it needs help and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about. Finland going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently, gets into a dangerous position. He's got options out wide. That's a goal kick. And it's Pichacic. Great leap! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Jekyll really could have done with putting that away. He was up like the proverbial salmon. Besic. Checo, decent looking ball. And the shot! Goal! Bosnia Herzegovina! Bosnia are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter attacking heaven.
Bosnia and Herzegovina. Draw first blood here. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. What an adventurous run from a defender. Time to deliver. It's found it's... There's the shot! And it's half-time here. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Bosnia and Herzegovina are in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. If you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Bosnia going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's making good use of his stretch. Shoots! Just a whisker away. Hoists it forward. Dzeko desperately wants to get on the end of this. Dzeko! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Kanovic up towards the front line has he found his man tries to switch the play plays it out wide and helps available out wide That's not the cross he had in mind. And it's played forward. He's got away. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Just brushed off the ball there. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Played into the middle. Bosnia probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. to get it forward quickly and that is that terrific contest it really might have tipped either way the margins were tiny just a goal in it 